this might be the number one way to guarantee success, whether it's in sports, business, entrepreneurship, arts, politics, whatever the case may be. Let's get into it today because this can really change your life if you apply it. And it goes against everything that you are hearing on social media. And it goes against what society is conditioning you to do on a day-to-day -day basis. As you know, we live in a world right now where everything is super distracting. You open your phone, you have notifications, the news, you have your apps, Instagram, WhatsApp, YouTube, TikTok, all these different platforms are competing for your attention. And so the ability to focus has dropped substantially over the last few decades and more so over the last few years. And today it is a war of attrition. The individual, the company, the athlete that can focus more than the other wins. It's as simple as that. In business, it's not a matter of doing better than others. At this point, just a matter of doing the same thing longer than the other because so many entrepreneurs lose focus, hop onto the new next trend, new shiny object. And so they dilute a lot of their focus and that's where your opportunity comes in. And so you just need to stay on the path that you're already on simply by doing the same things over and over again when everyone else loses focus. So let's get more into this with some concrete examples. And I hope you implement this because it can change your life. So I was lucky enough to be trained by some of the best tennis coaches in the world as I was uh, prepping and training to become a professional tennis player. And one of the main things that they teach young athletes is the ability to focus. And one of my coaches, when I was 14 years old, I'll never forget this. One of my coaches told us, focus is the ability to stay focused on the court, on what's happening on the court playing, right? Even if there's a bunch of naked girls in the stands yelling and screaming your name. And that image has stuck with me for decades, literally. So that's what focus is ultimately. It's the ability to focus when there's all these different distractions, whether it's apps or whether it's people trying to uh, steal your focus. Can you stay focused long enough to perform the task at hand? So while I was training to become a professional tennis player, what I didn't know and what I realized years later is that I was really getting trained to focus and to be able to perform over long periods of time. And that is one of the number one keys that has allowed me to make it in business and to have the success that I've had over the years. So let me give you four things you can do. And this is a rule of four. So doing the four things for four years, right? So four things for four years. Yes, we're not talking about four days, four weeks or four months. I'm talking about four four things and doing them during four years. If you do this, I guarantee that you will increase your chances of success to the point where it almost guarantees your success. So let's get into this with a very concrete example. So the rule of four is picking four things that you decide to do in business or in life for the next, so the coming four years. Let's get into this if you're in business. Again, you can adapt this to fitness, to relationships, to building your character, to whatever the case may be. But because I'm an entrepreneur, let's talk about business here because this can really change your current business and the path and the trajectory that you're taking as an entrepreneur. So if I had to simplify business in only four steps, if there's only four things I could do in business, it would be number one, getting a lead. Number two, talking to a lead. Number three, selling to the lead. And number four, making the customer happy. That's it, those four things. I'm not looking to start investing in real estate and crypto and stocks and you know building up my savings account with the advice that my banker could be giving me. I don't care about that. I'm talking about doing four things focused for four years. Number one, getting a lead, talking to a lead, selling to the lead, making the customer happy those four things. So within those four things, right? And you are free to decide whatever those four things are. And you need to sit down and decide what those four things are for you and how you'll be doing them and how often you'll be doing them for the next four years. Now, inside those categories, you'll need to do other things, of course. So let's go deeper. If you break it down, you'll need to do more things in each category to actually get the results that you want. So in each category, pick one to three things at most that you will be doing for the next four years. Getting a lead, getting a lead, getting a prospect, getting someone who's interested in your product or service. There's hundreds of ways you can get leads, but you need to pick only between one and three. By the way, you can become an uber successful 
multi-millionaire just by picking one of these. So it's not a matter of doing a hundred different things. It's a matter of doing as little as possible at the highest level you can. So let's pick one to three things. So I'll give you three examples. One could be doing paid advertising. So Google ads, YouTube ads, TikTok ads, paid advertising, paid media. Number two could be doing organic growth strategies like social media, referrals, networking. So basically non-paid. And yes, you'll be paying with your time, but you wouldn't be paying money for organic growth. And number three could be simply word of mouth and making word of mouth the number one strategy that you want to use to develop your business. We can't pick a hundred things because you'll never be good at a hundred different things. If you want to succeed in life, you need to pick a few things and do them at the highest level of mastery. So one to three things at most. Let's go to number two, which is talking to the lead. So you need to interact with those people. Very few people will buy the first time they come to your store, the first time they talk to you on the phone. So you need to talk to those people. You need to pick one to three things that you will be doing consistently for the next four years. Let me give you an example. One could be email marketing. One could be WhatsApp marketing. And the third could be talking to people on the phone. Those three things, you're not trying to do a hundred different things. You're trying to do a few things at the highest level of mastery, right? And so you will be doing these three things or one of those three things, could be two of those three things for the next four years consistently every single day. That's the rule. You pick one of these things and you do them consistently for the next four years. Then selling to the lead, right? You sell to the lead. There's a lot of different ways to actually sell. You can sell through email, you can sell on the phone, you can sell through webinars, you can sell through a network, you can sell through events, live events, digital events. So you need to pick one to three things. It could be number one, selling on the phone, selling on webinars, and it could be selling face to face. Face. Again, you can pick one to three. That's the rule. One to three things at most. One of three conversion mechanisms that you will be using for the next four years. By the way, you can become a multi, multi millionaire just picking one of these and mastering them, right? I've done that with phone sales. I've done that with webinars, but you can't do a hundred different things. You need to pick one to three things at most per category and focus on them for four years. And again, this whole process, the four things for four years will give you so much peace of mind because it's not about doing a hundred different things. It's about doing four things consistently for four years and then you let me know the success that you've had four years from now. And the fourth thing is making customers happy. Very simple, deliver something that people want, deliver on the promises you make, make people happy, send them something extra, send them bonuses, send them gifts every now and then, send them a postcard through the mail at Christmas if you have a very high-end business. Come up with ways to make people happy beyond just the usual satisfaction that other businesses provide. So think of things to make your customers super happy so they recommend your business to others. Again, one to three things. Deliver the product or service and then go beyond that and do more if you can to really build a strong relationship with those customers or clients. That's it. And again, you can decide whatever those things are in those categories, but the key here is picking four things for fitness, right? It could be four exercises. It could be four types of foods that you eat. It could be a specific diet that you want to use and follow for the next at least several months, potentially four years. It could be a routine that you use for the next four years, but you need to find something and you need to stick to it consistently. So four things for four years. This will guarantee that, first of all, you stay on track, that you actually get things done and that you don't become a victim of all these distractions that appear on your phone and that try to pull you away from the success that you want to have. And again, stop trying to do a hundred different things, trying different opportunities, business opportunities, business models, different industries, just four things for four years and get it done.